Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Siemens South Africa has unveiled its new 11 megawatts fully automated direct current containerized trolley assist substation, which has been introduced at a mine in Namibia to set the platform for an international entry. Natasha Urendal has a story. The fourth generation trolley assist substation is one of the six inaugural in-house developed units heading to an undisclosed Namibia-based open cost mine after being awarded the bid to provide electric power to adapted diesel electric haulage trucks earlier this year, opening up an international opportunity. Siemens SA lead engineer Carl van Rensburg tells us more. The fourth generation that we introduced today uh, substation is bringing to us the advantage of the international market. Uh, in the past we've always focused on the local Africa market and for that we've used local components and which is not always complying to the international IEC specifications and so forth. Now today we've introduced this fourth generation which is fully compliable to the international standard the IEC specifications zone because all the components that we've used here is Siemens approved, Siemens type test. The reason for the fourth generation mainly is to go international. Now we can comply with all the specifications IEC, EN, all of these specifications that sits out in the world internationally we can now comply. In line with the delivery of the first three substation units to the Namibian mine, with the final three to follow suit in a few months, Siemens has attracted global interest with ambitions of marking its first entry into Europe shortly. We've already uh, received uh, um, the intention uh, from, from companies in Sweden, Denmark, uh, Canada, and they already sent out a, a team uh, especially the Sweden, uh, Sweden guys from, uh, from, and from Finland, they sent out a team which we took to from our previous sites to show them and to, uh, so they can get familiar with what we've done in the past. They were very impressed, very happy and uh, we've, we've now gone so far that we in the bidding phase uh, with uh, a company or the, a mining company in Sweden. Other news making headlines this week, SCBA launch for SA markets. Safety products manufacturer MSA Africa launched the Air Express 2 Fire, a new economical self-contained breathing apparatus in the South African market last month. The new Air Express 2 Fire is a simplistic, low-cost, economical SCBA that's designed for the fire industry, the um, escape industry, first responder industry, basically for a variety of industries where um, compressed air is required. So what's really unique about the Air Express 2 Fire, um, basically it hails from its predecessor which is the Air Express. And the nice thing about it is that the features it has is so low cost that you still could have an economical set with all the features and benefits of sort of a premium SCBA but all built into one which was very similar to its predecessor the Air Express. Okay? Um, now what's nice about the Air Express 2 Fire, aside from its traditional comfortable shoulder and hip belt harness, um, it has with it a zipper shoulder pads, okay? that means you can interchange your demand valve and your pressure gauge, especially for the people that are left-handed, the firefighters or the first responders. So that's a nice unique feature about it. That's Creva Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.